Welcome to my hemorrhagic stroke recovery. This week we had a lot of ankles and a whole lot of legs. Let me know what you think and be sure to watch the next video. It covers older therapy and see the difference. And remember to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Check it out. to work on yourself because you can wrap around your own foot and kind of stand on it so then you can work on it or hold in it yourself and push on it that way you're getting some more control on your ankle okay for your knee bend you can do while you're sitting you can use your um, your left leg to help bring it in so, so other way so you bring it in front so this in front other one other way around yep and then help get it to bend and if you feel like you have more bend than that then yep so you can do it that way or if you have like a belt at home you can loop your own foot through it And then with your hand, you can pull it so that you get more bend. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, just like that. And give it a good stretch. You can hold it there for like a minute. I do, I'm noticing you have a hard time not letting your knee fall out to the side whenever you bend your knee up. So let's try it. Um, so ball squeezes while you're already laying down. Okay, okay, so you can relax and let go of this. Yep. Okay, and then try to squeeze for like four seconds and then relax. Yep. Sometimes we get so caught up in wanting you to be back to function that we don't do as much of the first steps as often. Well, when I went to Jackie, I, I had one thing I wanted. I wanted to run. Right. That's all I could talk about or think about. But now that it's sort of happening, then all these other things are keep creeping in. Try to kick your bottom. Okay, so you don't have to hold it. Okay, go up as high as you can and then back down. As high as you can and then back down. Good. 
Two more. 